when in doubt, smoke it out. RuPaul season 8, gonna be the winner. <laughs> Obscenely big lashes, obviously. And that is why we do our foundation last. Ah! Anyway, I've got something in my eye. What are you doing? I can't do this right now. Oh, Jesus. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am looking a little bit more glamorous than the last tutorial because I did a look really similar to this and put it on Instagram and loads of you requested I do this as a tutorial so thank you very much for suggesting such things because it means I don't have to think and it means if it falls on its bum it's your fault it's not my fault but I really hope you like it totally smoky smoky eyes obnoxiously large eyelashes nude lip obviously and yeah perfect look for going out i would say for me it's a perfect look for going to work in lush a nice natural cosmetic shop so join me next week and i'm going to be going through my new skincare routine and we're going to have a look at that magnetone again because i got some new brush heads and i'm using them but I wasn't using it, and if you watch this tutorial, you'll see I've got a massive spot on my chin. So, karma, I would say. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will be back next week, and we'll talk skin. Bye! So, starting off as usual with brows, I'm using Thunder Brow Cake by Illamasqua, and I'm mixing it with a little bit of water, just so I can sketch out my brow. Because I shave the ends of my brows off, it's a wee bit harder to get the shape. I have a brow tutorial that I'll link just now, but all I'm doing is creating a shape with the brow cake, using it quite heavy, and then feathering the product through the front of the brow to make it a wee bit more natural at the front. Pushing out the shape, making sure I've got them nice and symmetrical, and nice and dark as well. Then I go in with my Kevin Aquan SX04 Skin Enhancer and I use that right round my brows with an Illamasqua Angle Brush just to define the brow and clean up any mess. Dragging down the concealer onto the lids before I buff it out. This is going to aid with blending of eyeshadow later. Spot. Going in with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot all over the lid and underneath the eye as well. That's going to be a great base for our eyeshadow. Going in with the Urban Decay Vice 3 Palette Shadow in Downfall first and using that under the eye and in the socket line as well. And then going in with the same brush, I'm going in with Undone, which is slightly lighter just to blend that out. And I'm using my Zoeva Fluffy Brush just called a blending brush. The concealer is helping blend that out and I want it nice and diffused. Then I'm going in with Revolver which is the darkest colour in the Vice 3 palette and that is going to be my black. So I'm painting the full lower lid. Going in with Sophie Pencil by Illamasqua which is a black co-pencil, cool colouring in the waterline and then going in with the black eyeshadow and the Zoeva pencil brush just to smoke that out. The Zoeva crease brush is going to help me blend the black into the transition colour and buff it out underneath as well. This eye is a very smoky eye so don't worry about going too bold. And then going back in with my fluffier brush just to blend out any edges. Small circular movements will help you with this. Then a nice coat of mascara, this is Illamasqua Mascara. And I added a little bit of highlight with the colour Bobby Dazzle, which is the lightest colour in that palette. Going in with skin now, I'm using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer all over the face and Illamasqua Skin Base SB 8.5. Using an RC Cosmetics buffing brush, I'm just buffing the foundation right into my skin on top of the primer. And I've just sped the whole process up for you because I'm sure you know how to do this. 
going right up underneath my eye. I don't really use concealer under my eyes when I use this foundation because it's got such good coverage. And then using my Beauty Blender and MAC Fix Plus. Spraying the Beauty Blender and then going all over my foundation just to give it that flawless look. This is a new thing that I've started doing and I absolutely love it. My foundation seems to last a lot longer when I do do this on top of just applying it with a brush. Then going in with the concealer I used around my eyebrows, which is left over at the back of my hand. I highlight my cheekbones and down the centre of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then I go in with a small buffing brush just under the eyes to smooth the foundation into the eye makeup just so there's no lines or missing bits of foundation. This is MAC Skin Finish Dark Tan in with the Zoeva Contour Brush and I'm just going to use this to contour today so I go down my cheekbones and blend upwards towards my eye, I suppose. A little bit on the forehead, a little bit underneath the chin as well just to blend the foundation in. Going back in with my foundation brush, I sharpen up the contour underneath. Then MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter with a little bit of Fix Plus on my contour brush. I apply a generous amount of highlight because I like looking a little bit like a disco ball. Cheekbones, down the nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow and I like to put a little bit on my jawline as well just to make my face less potato-like. This is Beg Blusher by Illamasqua, my new absolute favourite, really nice deep pink and I'm using that blusher just in between the contour and the highlight. It helps get a really nice transition between the two. Illamasqua Loose Powder just to set all my foundation and makeup in the centre of my face. I leave the outsides of my face because I like the dewy look. And for lips, I'm using Illamasqua Tease Lipstick, the perfect nude. Going all over my lips with that first of all. And then I go in with Pencil by Illamasqua, and this one's called Honor. I'm going to speed this whole process up for you, but I'm basically showing you exactly how I line my lips when I do a nude lip. So this pencil is actually a really, really dark brown with a slight purple undertone to it but I really like it for a nude lip, especially when it's mixed with the nude lipstick, it doesn't look too dark at all. So I've gone right around the perimeter of my lip and I'm just defining my cupid's bow that little bit more. And then I go in with my angle brush and a little bit of concealer for my eyebrows just to sharpen up the lower, la uh, the lower lip. Lash Gents with a pair of Lush Lashes from Illamasqua, the most dramatic eyelashes you've ever seen in your entire life. And I've made sure that the glue is nice and tacky and I'm just putting them on with tweezers for precision. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. This is me doing my usual trying to pose thing. Yes, succeeding. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!